Welcome to today's presentation. Today we are going to learn how to estimate median from a histogram. So the question we have here reads, the frequency table below shows the daily wages paid to casual workers by a certain company. So we have that table. And then the histogram below represents the information above. So we have the histogram as shown. Then the question that follows Use the histogram alongside to estimate the median wage. So before we begin, I'm going to sketch the histogram on this other side. So the height of the first bar is 3.2. The second bar is 2.4. The third one is 3.8, the fourth is 2.4, and the fifth bar is 0 0.5. And then we have the width. So as we have it in the histogram here, from 100 to 50 for the first bar, we will simply have a width of 50. Then right here we have 50 again, that is from 150 to 200. Then the next one is 100. So we are going to determine the area under the graph. That is, we are going to get the area, all the bars, and then we sum them up. So for the first bar we have the rectangular in shapes we have length by width that is 3.2 by 50 and that gives us 160 for the second bar we have 50 by 2.4 that is 120 the third bar is 3.8 by 100 that is 380 the fourth one is 100 by 2.4 that is 240 and then the last one is 0 0.5 by 200, that is 100. So when you sum this up, it should give us 1000. So the idea here is when you get half the area of the histogram, that is a half the area which is a half of 1000, so that is 500. This should give us the median of the data. So for us to achieve that on the histogram, we are going to identify where the area 500 is achieved, and then we mark that by a vertical line. For example, for the first bar, we have 160. For the second bar, we have 120. That summed up should give us 280. 280 is still less than 500. And if we add the next bar, which is 380 in area, that should give us 660. So 660 is past 500. Thus, that simply means that the median is likely to lie in this third bar. So if we have a vertical line somewhere in between for well, this particular point we had 200 and this particular point we had 300 that is according to what we have on the histogram so we want to determine the location of this vertical line by calculation and then we'll come and indicate it in our histogram. So what we will simply do, we will let this distance here be x. And then already we know that the position here is 200. So for us to know the median, we'll simply have to add x plus 200 to give us the median of the data. So to begin with, we'll have 
the area of the first bar which we already know is 160 plus the area of the second bar which is 120 and now we are not going to add the whole of the third bar but you're interested in this part here I'm shading whose area will obtain by length by width and the length is 3.8 so you have 3.8 times its width which is x and all of this added should give us 500 so remember the vertical line divides the histogram into halves so that this left hand side should give us a total area of 500 and the right hand side also should give us 500 so with this when we do our calculation we have 3.8 x is equal to 500 so we have 160 plus 120 which is 280 so crossing the equal sign we'll have to subtract 280 and that means dividing both sides by 3.8 we'll have x is equal to so here we have 220 over 3.8 so that is 57.8 eight nine so if that is the case then it simply means that the median will lie at so at this particular point we have 200 plus x so we'll have the median being at 200 plus x and x is 57.89 so the median should be 257.89 so that is approximately 258 or 257.9 whichever so we're going to estimate that in the histogram by drawing a vertical line at that particular position so where do we have 257.89 on our histogram so we know that one small square represents 10 because from here up to here we have 50 and there are five small squares so that means one small square is 10 so if you already have at this particular point 250 then 257.89 should be lying in between so we'll have a vertical line passing through this so we have somewhere in between there so this marks the position of the median so this vertical line here represents the position of the median and thus we have estimated the median of the data using the histogram. So that is it for this question. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for your patience too. I hope to see you in the next video.